Hey there. Well, we are live on Facebook now. This is Alan McNabb with Image Building Media. And uh, we've got with us today Ray Hendricks with HD Real Estate Company. And uh, Ray, I'll let you introduce yourself and your company there. Absolutely. It's Ray Hendricks with HD Real Estate Company. Um, right now, uh, me and Alan, we decided to team up, uh, use his media savvy and my real estate savvy, and um, really give the real estate community some information about marketing, um, setting up businesses. It's just a plethora of different topics that we're going to start covering um, every, every month. Uh, but just 30 minutes. So we're going to take just a little bit of your time, but uh, we're going to give you a lot of information in that time. So how are you doing today, Alan? Yeah, doing great. And uh, Ray, we're an internet marketing company here based in Tampa. We serve customers throughout the United States and a lot of them are real estate. So uh, it's just really great to be working with you in HD Real Estate and uh, excited about our topic today. So um, we decided for our first topic, and I will just share my screen really quick. All right. And uh, Ray, I made it a really super. I, I guess really, Ray, what I did is I is I put it out in the terms of all businesses because an agent, real estate agent, and a broker has their own business, right? Right. Absolutely. So. What we do for one business is not any different than for another business in just these general terms. So I put it in the terms of what ev why every business needs a website and social media. And that's what we're talking about today for real estate agents. And so, Ray, I want to go through here and you probably have some others also, but I want to go through here just with the basics that agents need to understand. And you know what? I, I think I'll start with the one at the very bottom of our page. And that is your competitors already have a website and social media. What, I mean, to me, that is just, uh, that, that's just hilarious. I mean, what do you think Absolutely. about that, Ray? Well, a lot of real estate agents, they'll get into real estate thinking that they can just basically go around their sphere of influence. Now, sphere of influence is where you want to start because it's the people that you know. So you'd want to tell them, hey, you know, I do real estate. This is what I can do for you. This is what I've been learning or what have you. But um, a lot of them don't think that they really need a, a web presence, which is, which is crazy to me. Unless you've been in real estate for a whole bunch of years and um, you have basically a referral business is what we call it. You basically just work off referrals. Then you should be putting yourself out there to be seen, Googled. Um, and, you know, so people can know who you are, get to call you, see your website and everything else. So, you know, I'm one of those people who believes in, you know, having a social media presence. But, you know, Ray, you know, I know, well, I, I know some agents that can... Uh, they do a great job selling real estate and, right. you know, they don't have their own website, you know, it's, especially since uh, Playster, you know, the ones, the free ones with Playster, you know, they, those all fell apart and a lot of agents ended up not having anything. Right. Um, but even, even sometimes with that one agent, particularly I'm thinking about sells luxury real estate. But was uh, at a listing appointment and, uh, you know, quite honestly, the people said, you know, looking at your website, uh, you're not really the type of agent we want to represent us, you know, and right. lost that, lost that just because of that, you know, and, uh, and that really gets us to our, uh, to our next point, because, um, you know, Ray, are you like me? If you go to check somebody out or a business out, you go online to check them out. First thing I do. That's the first thing I do too. First thing I do. I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's a, it doesn't even matter if it's a church or whatever it is, man. You know, I go online to check them out. And uh, the, 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 the one at the top here, I've got, uh, you need a website and social media because of branding and credibility. Absolutely. Um, you know, um, what does it say, Ray? What does it say when um, you don't? Well, I'll just back. I won't, I won't even try to. 
what is it what does it say when you don't have a website and you don't have social media as a business well what it says to me because it says different things to different people but somebody like me it says that you're not willing to invest in yourself and if you're not willing to invest in yourself and promote your business how well are you going to promote mine or how well of service are you going to give me you know what i mean how yeah. good of service are you going to give me so if you're not going to take time to really to really look at what what other people, you know, I mean, if you're not going to take time to invest in yourself and put yourself online, then it makes no sense for me to do business with you. That's how I feel. Yeah, you know, I'm the same way, um, you know, and if if you don't care enough about yourself to mm -hmm. have like the basics of right. business, which is, you know, to have a reasonable website for what your business is. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're like an agent that's just getting started, that's one thing. If you're an agent that is, you know, selling, uh, <laughs> you know, I was on the IDX with another agent today looking at their new website, by the way, and uh, their IDX that's coming through. And uh, we saw a $15 million property for sale in Tampa Bay. Yeah, you know, it, if you're selling properties that are $15 million, then you need one kind of website. Right. But if you're selling properties, you're getting started, you're selling properties in the 250 to 350 area, that's a whole different thing, right? Right. So if you don't care enough about yourself and your business to have the very basics, which is just a reasonable website for who you are, and to have a social media presence. If you don't care enough about yourself, I'm not going to care enough about yourself either. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so and that's why, go ahead, go ahead. Well, actually, you were the one that really got me to, to, to really spend money on a website and, and, you know, really take it seriously, you know, uh, as far as my social media presence, all of that stuff. Because everything I was doing by myself, you were like, well, why don't you do... Why don't you let us help you? <laughs> and then you can do what you do on on uh, on the internet, which is great. And then we can add to that. And it has it has helped me a lot. I've actually right. had people come to my company because of that. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. You yeah. know, and quite honestly, if you're smart about it, it's not like it costs a lot of money. You know, no, that's the thing about all. it. I mean, it is. I mean, it is so affordable. And it just costs a little bit of money. And, you know, if you don't, I'm just sort of speaking like as a consumer, you right. know, and again, even, even if it's a church, you know, if you don't care enough to spend a few dollars a month to have a reasonable public presence, yeah, that's a real negative for me, you know, that's a real negative for me. You know, oh, so, yeah. um, so it's just a few bucks. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, so now, now, here, now here's the thing. Like, I, I always wanted to ask you this and, you know, we well, we talk, but I always wanted to ask you in a live format um, when it comes to building your image. Right. As far as any type of company, what do you think is the number one? The, the major thing you should start with first, because I think a lot of agents don't know where they should start first. All right. So, um, so, uh, you know, it's, I'm going to bring it back to all businesses because mm -hmm. I want agents to think like a business owner. I'm a business owner and right. I got to do what any business owner has to do. Right. right. You, you know, you've got to have your basics like uh, Ray is a business card, a basic business card is a basic. Yeah. Now we're doing I mean, digital, but yeah. Yeah, we're doing digital. You know, I was at a meeting last night. Our one of our customers had a hard launch in the solar business, and mm -hmm. um, you know, well, you know, I introduced one fella to one of the sales guys. You know, that was there, and said, uh, you know, asked for a business card. I said, well, you know, I've got a digital business card, but that is a necessity, right? I mean, can right. you be in business without a business card? No, no. not really. No, no, no. And, you know, so you need a business card. Um, you need a business address. And that, that can, if you want to make that your home, that's fine. Not that you got to have an office downtown or something. Mm -hmm. You need a website because, quite honestly, Ray, um, which, which do you remember more easily? 
my the URL to our website or our business phone number. The phone number. I remember first. <laughs> you're the you're a phone number guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, most people are gonna remember. They're gonna remember the website. Most people. Absolutely. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you what your phone number is. I can't tell you what your cell phone number is. I can't tell you what your business phone number is. I can tell you what your URL, your website is. Absolutely. You know? You know? Absolutely. And it's easier to remember. You know, HD Real Estate is, for me, easier. HD Real Estate Company is easier right. to remember than the phone number, you know? And, oh, yeah. uh, and so... You know, you need a you need a website. It needs to just be reasonable for who you are and what you are, and you know your point in business. And it doesn't need to be for all the agents just starting out. Doesn't need to be expensive. Doesn't need to be a lot of cost. Doesn't need to be any of that. But you still need one. And then you need a social media presence. And with your social media presence, it needs to show that you're posting something, right? You know, Maybe. if if you have not posted anything in a year or two years, what does that tell people? That there needs to be some recent posts on there to just show people, hey, we are alive and we are still in business. Um, and I'll say lastly, you need some way of emailing people. Uh, if you want to, when you're starting out, you start out manually, that's fine. Just do it out of Gmail, that's fine. Eventually, you're probably going to want to move up to a CRM to, to be able to save yourself some time. But, you know, you need a business card, you need a website, you need social media that looks like you're alive, and you need a way to email mm -hmm. people. Can you think of anything I left out, Ray? Uh, I'll say even a name tag is um, as cheesy as it sounds and as outdated as it sounds. Sometimes I've left my name tag on by mistake. Like I've been like, oh, all right, I'm off now. I'm going to put my put it down. But let me go ahead and go into the supermarket, for instance, and just grab something. And people, oh, you're a realtor? Yeah. <laughs> even though I'm a broker? Yeah, <laughs> I am. So, you know, I'll uh, I'll get conversations that way. Um, I have T-shirts and everything with, you know, whatever, you know, with my company stuff on it or whatever the case may be. I think anything that puts you out there as a brand is is a viable way of, of uh, gaining gaining potential clients. Totally, totally agree, man. Totally agree. You know, so that's just like that's just like the basics of getting into business. Right. Right. You know, so, you know, by the time you go out and you do those small little things, I mean, the name tag, even if you get get a shirt, even if you, mm -hmm. you know, your 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 uh, what is it? Free savvy card. You get a free savvy yeah. card. Right. I mean, all the realtors Absolutely. in Tampa Bay. Right. Yeah. That's part of um, that. That's 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 part of being part of the organization. I mean, they get a free savvy card. I mean, that's just sort of like the entrance to get into the game and uh ray what happens when someone is trying to get into the game without like paying the price to get in you know if you want to go see if you want to go see your favorite football team pay but you want to go but you don't want to pay the price of admission what's going to happen you're going to be outside <laughs> you're not you're going to be outside you're not going to go to the game you know what i'm saying no and do you see agents who try to get into the game without paying the just minimum entrance to, hey, this is what you got to do to be in business? Yeah, I, I see that. And you know what ends up happening with those agents? They don't make enough money and then they end up dropping out. That's why the failure rate in, um, in, in real estate is over 70 percent. And it's not over 70 percent because. Um, the money isn't there or it doesn't work or nobody wants to use realtors, all the excuses that I hear. The reason it's like that is because one, people don't want to stick with it long enough. They do real estate for a month or two and, and, and don't have a sale and think that all of a sudden, you know, it just doesn't work. It's, it's an industry you definitely have to stick with and not only stick with, but market yourself. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you said that because marketing that's a long-term play, right? You know? Absolutely. I mean, so many, so you know, and I'm not just not talking about real estate, but so many businesses, uh, mm -hmm. business owners, they they want to, 
they want to start marketing. And if they don't get a sale in a week or two weeks, and certainly not in a month, they're like, oh, man, this, this isn't paying for itself. Right. And it's just, a, I think it's sometimes there's a lack of understanding. Maybe that's a good reason we're doing, you know, we're doing uh, uh, training webinars like this for folks. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lack of education. And that's just like, you know, um, people that get a business card and say, mm-hmm. well, you know, do you expect your business card to bring you a sale in, in a week? You know, <laughs> you, you, you expect, I'm going to give out one business card. I'm going to give out one business card and I'm going to get a sale. I want to give out a hundred and I'm going to, I'm going to sell a luxury property and make, I don't know how much you make off of that rate, two, 300,000 or something like that. Well, you know? well lu- luxury um, property, you know. it depends. I mean, you could make anywhere from 20,000 on up to like 70, 80,000 depends. Cause it, cause it's whatever the property price is, uh, 3% of that. Or if you do double side at 6% of that, you never know. Yeah. So, you know, it's, um, 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 you know, get get just these basics is the price to, you know, to get in the game. So it's 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 like the necessity of you know being being in the game. All right, so Ray, we got a few other things here we can uh, we can share with the folks. All right. Um. Uh, so brand and credibility it makes you credible. Mm-hmm. You know, you can brand yourself, you know, and I love your branding, by the way. Uh, uh, and I don't know if you still use the real estate Ray one, you know, I do. I do. Um, from time uh, to time. I, I love that one. See real estate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, and um, um, also it makes it easier for easier for customers to have access to you, you know, um, because Ray, are they, are they going to call you at one o'clock in the morning, you know, and say, Hey, I want to buy a house, you know, but <laughs> if they're cruising the internet and Ray, you do appear on the first page of Google, you yeah. know, and <laughs> you know, there you are, you know, mm-hmm. but they're not going to call and get you out of bed at one o'clock in the morning. They're not going to talk to you while you're at a listing appointment. Right. You know, they're not going to talk to you while you're at a closing, but no. there's easy access to you and your company and your videos and your materials and all of that. It makes it a lot easier for them to do that. Absolutely. And then when that happens, number three is generate leads, you know, absolutely. because at the end of the day, isn't that sort of what it's all about, you know, generate leads that are good, that convert and you make sales. I mean, at the end of the day, absolutely. that's what it's about, right? Absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Go ahead. Well, the things that I like here, man, showcasing your product and service, uh, saving you time and and, uh, with sales and customer service. People don't understand how much branding saves you time. Like, you know, because instead of you having an elevator pitch, elevator pitch, elevator pitch, it allows you, this internet allows you to speak to a broad audience at once. And they talk about the benefit of uh, Google search. You taught me that. Um, I tell you now, sometimes I get a lot of leads of people out of that. I, cause I really don't do a lot of rentals like that, but what I have done is take all the people that call me about rentals and I actually funnel them to my property management company that I, that I know that I use for my personal properties. So now it is, it is created lead generation for them. <laughs> you know, my website has created lead generation for them. And, you know, it says your competitors already have a website, social media. I mean, that's the basics, like you said in the beginning. If you don't have social media and a website, I mean, I I can't see somebody really wanting to do business with you unless, I don't know. I I don't know what kind of business uh, they would. Well, if you're on the side of the road selling honey or selling fruit, I guess you don't need a website then because people can see you. But it's, it's the equivalent, right? The website is the equivalent of that, being somewhere where there's a lot of traffic where people can see you. Exactly. You know? And for and for a uh, real estate agent, I mean, to showcase mm-hmm. their properties, uh, you know, properties they have for sale, properties that they've sold, you know, uh, to have listings. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, where else are they going to see those things, right? You know? And so that's super, super important. And generating leads for your referral network. I mean, you know, if you're giving leads to your property manager 
and then they hear somebody wants to buy a house, who are they going to give that referral to, right? To me, and believe believe it or not, property management companies, they deal with investors all day. Who do investors use? They use realtors. All day so long, man. All day long, oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Save time with sales and customer service. You mm-hmm. know, when, you, when you've got a website, they can go there, they can look up stuff, they can learn about it. You know, it's, it's just going to save you time because you don't have to talk to everybody on the telephone. You know, Absolutely. and uh, you know, benefit with Google search. You got that like that. And, um, you know, that last one, I mean, just to be competitive. I mean, you've got to do it right. Absolutely. You know, and I don't know about you, Ray. If I and I think we really talked about this already. If I'm checking out two places, all things being rel- relatively the same. One person cares about their digital presence. The other person doesn't. You know who I'm going with. The, the person, person that cares, cares, right? You know, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Ray. So I think we pretty much. I mean, we just covered the basics, and and ba- well, right. really, what we said is just a necessity, right? And we're just right. emphasizing that. You know, if you're going to be successful, you're going to be in business. You know, it's just a necessity to have a website, to have your social media, and to look like you're alive, right? Absolutely. All right. So can you think of anything else we need? I jotted down these little well, things. You think of anything else we need to talk about? Well, for, the, for this particular one, no, because I mean, this is just, you know, giving you the overview. But the next one that we do next month, I really want to dial into um, strategy because there, because there's marketing, but certain strategies, because, you know, we have um, mail strategy, we have um, Internet so there are a lot of marketing strategies and I kind of want to dial into that a little bit more next time, because now that we have the branding, what you need, how do you utilize these things should be the next. Yeah. Because you know what you're doing with all of it and social media. Also, mm-hmm. you're, you've got to have somewhere to send them, right? Absolutely. You know, your social media has to send them somewhere. Where does it send them? It sends them right. to your website. Your website is where you, I call it ring the right. cash register. Social media is terrible at ringing the cash register, although you can do a little something. But, you know, even if you've even if you've got properties in the marketplace, Facebook marketplace, you know, you still got to have somewhere for them to go. Right. Right. And the same thing as we talk about strategies next time, I imagine we'll talk about email marketing, which has, by the way, statistically the highest return on investment. Absolutely. But you got to have somewhere to take the people. And that is the website. The website's where you ring the cash register. That's where it all comes together. So I look forward to that one, Ray. That will be awesome. That'll be a great yeah. webinar also. Well, I thank you for, uh, I thank you guys for tuning in, all of you that have tuned in. Um, I thank you, Alan, for, you know, helping me with this series. Uh, we're getting all the bumps out for the first one, but, um, you know, we just continue with this. We should get a, more of a following um, so that, people can understand that this isn't just about real estate. It's just about building up brands, period. So, all right. So you guys need to tune us, tune in to us. Uh, We we do the second week of uh, every month and um, it's at 2.30, you know, 2.30 to 3. All right, guys, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Media and uh, we're based here in Tampa Bay. Ray, we appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to uh, being back together in about a month. All right. Sounds great. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.